What's up guys and welcome to Plants vs. Zombies. Sort of. This video is gonna be a little weird, but stick with me. You're probably sitting here like, why is the game in Spanish? It's because this is our first ever Plants vs. Zombies modded video. I'm gonna be playing a super duper old mod called Pokemon vs. Zombies that's normally available only in Spanish. I was able to change a lot of it so that the actual in-game stuff is in English, but I couldn't change the main menu. But this game is super cool because it replaces the plants with Pokemon, which I thought was sort of fitting because you know Pokemon Go has been super popular. So why don't we go ahead and try it out? I've never really seen anybody do an actual YouTube video on this. I've played the first tutorial levels just to sort of get the boring stuff out of the way, but I think this is really cool. Let's just start from the beginning because this is like level one four. So this is when, when you first get all five lawn spots. And it's really cool. It's, okay, I don't know what that one is, that Pokemon that just rolled by us. So that's sort of the thing. I don't really know too much about Pokemon. I know enough to know that this is, the Sunflower is a Sunflora. The Pea Shooter is a Bellsprout. The Walnut is a Metapod. And then the Cherry Bombs, I think, are Electrodes? If not Voltorbs, one of the two. But I could go ahead and put a Metapod here. And hopefully that'll help. Oh my gosh, I love how they dance around too, just like the actual plants. It's so funny though. I don't know, there's something that I think is really cool about it. I just get a kick out of seeing them being Pokemon instead of plants. Here you go, let's, put the, let's see how the pea shooter works. <laughs> it doesn't exactly match up one to one. They're, they're, the head and the mouth are a little off from where the peas is coming out, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get more on. Uh, or sunflowers out, or sunflora's out. I'm pretty sure it's sunflora. I don't know what game the sunflora has been in. Poor Metapod's being eaten away over there, though. All right, let's earn up another 100 so I can take you out. And hopefully these levels won't be too bad. They're, they're the first levels of the game. So I just wanna try them out, and I don't plan on playing a huge ton, but if you guys like this, maybe we'll make another video following up and check out more Pokemon plants, because I think that'd be pretty cool. I also love how instead of sun, it's Pokeballs. Like that makes sense, sort of, but at the same time, why would the Pokemon give you a Pokeball to catch them? You'd think they'd make it a little difficult. I just, I love it because it's just, it's different, you know? And I see that the lawnmowers are actually also Pokeballs. So it's like, some of it makes sense, some of it doesn't at all. And that's sort of the charm of it. Hey, there we go, now we have like our Sunflora army, the Bell Sprouts are coming out. I think Bell Sprouts are like a super common Pokemon, so it sort of makes sense that there's a whole row of them waiting here. I mean, this isn't even tall grass. This is, you know, pretty well cut grass, so I don't know why there's so many Pokemon. Oh man, so we could try to use the Cherry Bomb now, but I think I'll hold off for now. I'll wait until the large wave of zombies come in, and then we can use it properly. All right, things are really shaping up here. Well, one reason I wanted to do this is I've actually been wanting to do this video for a while. I've, when I first saw this mod like a month ago, I was like, wow, this mod's been out for years and I've never heard of it before. So I figured I'd try it out. You know, it took me a little while to figure out how to mod PVZ and to get this on here. But it was, it was even harder to find out how to get some of this stuff in English, but I was able to do it. I'm just sort of bummed that I couldn't get the main menu to be in English. <laughs> I feel bad that like his head is slowly being eaten away. I mean, it's like when you're a Pokemon and you fight over Pokemon, like usually they just faint, but now they're literally being eaten. And it also makes sense because they're all plant type Pokemon. So it still in some way is, you know, plants versus zombies. Just Pokemon plants versus zombies. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and put the Voltorbs down. Oh wow, they actually have the sound. I didn't put that in an editing or nothing. That was actually, wow, cool. So it said Voltorb, I think. So there you go, it was Voltorb, I was right. And there you go, so we got ourselves another Pokeball, but we have five of them. I guess they ran out of pictures to use. <laughs> All right then, so, oh, it's a shovel. Oh, okay, that makes sense. You know, like, I, like you know, like when they call the Pokemon back into the Poke, that makes sense. All right, oh wait, oh, here's Crazy Dave, who has, <laughs> I guess whoever made this mod on his shirt. Greetings, neighbor, the name's Crazy Dave. Okay, so this is all normal stuff here, so we can go ahead and do that. All right then. <laughs> I didn't know Crazy Dave was sponsored. Look at how small Metapod is. I didn't know Metapod was that small. <laughs> All right, he's crazy, blah, blah, blah. All right then, so, oh yeah, it's, okay, this is gonna be funny. Let's see, 
Metapod, you'd expect Metapod not to be able to roll very well, seeing how he has the crescent moon shape going on. That is just silly. <laughs> Here's the explosive Metapod. I would like that in actual Pokemon. If I could have an explosive Metapod, I think I could take care of any gym leader, you know? <laughs> that is just so ridiculous. But I feel like this was fun to do now, because I know people are getting super hyped for the new Pokemon game, and I know that Pokemon Go has been a big thing, so I just figured it was a good mixture of everything. Now let's go ahead. Boom, can we get the second one? Yes, we can. All right, this is a pretty simple level, though. Luckily, it ain't too difficult. And the last zombie. Bada boom. Oh, wait, wait, what is this called? I want to call it a Dig Dug, but that's not the name. Diglet. I think it's Diglet? I don't know. I need to learn more about Pokemon. All right, so what is this actually, though? It's a potato, but oh, that makes sense. Explodes in contact, but takes time to arm itself. Okay, then, yeah, we of course know how a potato mine works. If you don't know, we did a uh, Plants vs. Zombies 1 playthrough on our live stream earlier this year. See, some of it's still in Spanish. I don't really know how to change that, but it's fine. It's whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. So now we got Diglett. So I'll try to put him down. I want to see what that looks like. The animation must look cool. This is so cool, though. There was actually, like, one or two versions of this mod. Another one had, like, the zombies were also, like, Pokemon stacked up together. It looked really weird. I didn't like it as much. I like it when they're actually zombies, because then it's just Pokemon versus Pokemon, and that doesn't make any sense. He's just invisible. But that makes sense at the same time. He's underground. You're not supposed to see him. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep on getting some sun floras out. But this is so cool. I love it because it's just it, it's different, you know. And different can be cool. Look at him. <laughs> He's just so excited. I don't know. Like it, once again, if I had a diglet that could explode, I would use that against gym leaders all the time. That'd make it much easier. And bada boom. <laughs> there you go. It's in Spanish again. I'm sure nobody really minds, right? I mean, Spanish is a pretty cool language. I just don't speak it. Let's put that there. We can handle these levels pretty well, though. I'm not really too worried about too much. Uh-oh. Here comes the pole vault zombie. Let's go ahead and get the diglet ready for him. We'll put a metapod here so that he hops over it. There you go. I don't know if the diglet's gonna be ready in time, though. That's gonna be a little scary. Oh, come on, diglet. You can do it. Come on, diglet. Oh, no, no, no. He's eating him, even though he's not there. Oh. Rest in peace, Diglett. Here we go. Beast Eaters, finish him off. Oh, jeez. He's fast. He's a tough one right now. At least we got him, though. All right, so I'm just going to save up for another Bell Sprout here. And that should be good. All right. <laughs> I'm loving this so much. It's a lot of fun just because it's a game I love with a little bit of a twist to it. Luckily, we're handling these levels pretty easily. I mean, they're really easy levels. I figure we'll do like the first world here in today's video. Like, or at least, you know, I'm sort of doing snippets of it. And then we will uh, end it off there. And if you guys enjoy it, maybe we'll do the second world. We'll change things up a little bit. Who knows? All right, Voltorb. Get ready to do your thing. Ready, set. I love that so much. It's the only thing with a custom sound so far. I really hope there is other stuff. The Diglett doesn't have a custom sound, but. I don't know why. Like, I don't know if the Diglett actually says anything, typically. I'm not really sure, but oh, look at that! It's the Ice Bell Sprout. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a new one. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be found in the Pokedex. All right, then. Well, of course, it's actually the Snow Pea, but here does the Ice Bell Sprout, or the Snow Bell Sprout. I mean, I know they're making, like, new versions of old Pokemon in the new one. The new Pokemon Sun and Moon, like, they're making Lola versions or something like that, so... I mean, maybe we'll see a snow bell sprout. I, I doubt it, though. Ice bell sprout, I choose you! Blah! All right, <laughs> that did exactly what I expected it to do. I mean, obviously it wasn't too much, but <laughs> it's still cool to see. I mean, I guess there isn't any kind of ice plant they could have thought of, or maybe it was just easier just to do that. I mean, this, this mod came out years and years ago, so I'm sure there are some things that, you know, some Pokemon we have now that we didn't have then, so. Don't know if they had as much to choose from when making the mod. All right, I think this level's in the bag. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm skipping out a lot on these levels just because everybody's seen them a thousand times before and they're pretty darn simple. So, so far so good though. I decided I wanna see what it looks like when a zombie reaches the lawnmower, so. I mean, we don't have any coins to worry about at this point of the game, so let's see. Does it have an animation or does it just move? Oh wow, it has that, whoa, what the heck is that thing? It has a cool custom sound effect though, that's awesome. So that's what the lawnmower is like. This I think is like, I think it's an evolved bell sprout, but it's a chopper. Okay, interesting. Very, very weird. 
All right then, so now we get to choose our plants now, finally. I'm just gonna leave the uh, ice pea out of it. That should work just fine, but we got a chomper now. And that's just so weird though, you know? Hmm. So apparently I just Googled it. This is called a weeping bell. Oh, maybe not, it looks different. I don't know then. Um, it's a victory bell. So this is the third evolution of a bell sprout. It's weird how it moves. I'm guessing because, you know, it expects a little more to be there. It's still cool looking though. I really, really like that. I wanna put one over here. I have plenty of sun right now because I've been just sort of clicking it while I Google about bell sprouts, which I wasn't expecting to do today, but hey, still pretty cool. All right, there we go. This is so cool. I love how they move. It's like, I don't really know how they would move in the game, but hopefully that's similar because it looks like it would be. All right, let's see one, eat one. It's gonna be a little intimidating, Aiden. Let's put a metapod there to help protect it and, oh boy, whoa. What in the world was that noise? Was that the zombie screaming for his life? Ah! I don't know if that's the noise that a victory bell makes or if the zombie was just horrified. That I'll never be able to get over that noise. Ah! I didn't know the zombies had that good of a voice on them, like that kind of octave. Very impressive, maybe they should be like the disco zombie, get in the music. I do have to say that when the zombie arm is dangling out of the weeping bell or the, the victory bell or whatever, it does make it seem like it's probably the most intimidating Pokemon so far. Like, I would not want to get near that thing. Like, just, just the idea of it attacking me is now really, really scary. All right, well now a huge wave of zombies are approaching. I don't think they stand a chance. Oh, look at this, it's the repeater bell sprout. You'd think they'd use the evolution of Elsprout at some point, but I guess it, maybe it doesn't fit very well? Well, there you go, there's the repeater. You know, the only thing I can think of that can make this mod better is if the zombies were modified in some way to have like at least like a Team Rocket symbol on them or something. Like, I mean, it, it wouldn't change too much, but it would be a nice little detail, you know, when you think about it, like maybe Team Rocket turned everyone into zombies. I don't know why they would. <laughs> Just something cool like that to mix it up a little bit. You can see we got some repeaters out here. Honestly, they look barely different from the Bell Sprouts, which obviously is on purpose, but yeah, that's why I'm not showing off this level too much, because it really isn't too much different. It would be really cool if uh, instead of Zomboss, it's like Jesse and James or something on like a Meowth robot. Like, I've watched a little bit of the Pokemon anime to know a little bit about that kind of stuff, and I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't think I'll ever get that crazy, but it's still cool to see. But that's the thing I wanna see, guys. Let me know in the comments section below, like, what plants would you have as Pokemon? Because obviously we're not gonna get the chance to show every single plant today, so if you have an idea for, like, a specific plant that would be cool, like a cool Pokemon version of it, you know, like, maybe Pikachu would be, like, that's the thing, especially, like, PVZ2 plants. Obviously, it's just PVZ1, so we won't be seeing that, but, like, the Electro Reed, from PVZ2, that would obviously be really cool for Pikachu. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on what kind of things you'd want to be as like what Pokemon, because I just, I, I think it's just cool to think about. It fits oddly well. All right, then there goes those zombies. I don't think this letter's any different. I think this letter's gonna be in Spanish again. or <laughs> about to see. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, the zombies are going to do an all-out attack. It's funny that in the Spanish version, it's not like scrawled, like the handwriting isn't as scrawled as it is in the English version. I'm at least getting that insight. It is pretty interesting. But either way, it's level 110, the last level of this area. And it looks like they don't give us any kind of new plants, which I totally forgot about. So we're just gonna go ahead and survive with anything the game gives us, and it should be nice and fun. We're just gonna have a whole bunch of random Pokemon across the lawn. Pokemon everywhere. And all right, are we ready for like the biggest Voltorb explosion ever? Go, 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 go! <laughs> that was awesome. Wait, what is, is that an Oddish? That is so cute! Is that supposed to be the Puff Shroom? Oh my gosh, that's adorable, I love that. Oh man, I wonder what all the nighttime shrooms are gonna be then. Man, that must be really interesting. Uh, maybe I'll be able to find a way to cheat in everything. Like, I, I don't know if I'll have time to play through the entire game and 100% everything, so maybe I can find a way to get, like, unlock all the characters some other way. But for right now, I think that's where we're gonna leave it off. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your guesses for some of the plants, what Pokemon they could be, either in PvZ1 or make up your own for PvZ2. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on this PvZ mod. 
If you did, make sure to give this video a like. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Pokemon Zebra so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebratastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.